Okay, so here's our here's our married state stuff. Um, it's uh, I I do have I don't have it on this slide. If anybody actually wants to see the the kind of dive of research into this precepting approach, let me know because I have the research on it. <laughs> um, but basically, what it means is that you're moving you're always moving together along through this experience with your preceptor. Just to give you some background. Um, there was a long held precepting strategy that was a lot of people this wasn't the technical name for it but a lot of people refer to as the divide and conquer so a preceptor would have a new person come on the unit that they were orienting or precepting and they'd say okay here's our patient list for today i'm going to take these you take those if you got questions come back back and ask me um, and what we find is that's not very helpful for students um there's a there's things that students may not know yet about the site may not know yet about the patient um, or the family um or or sometimes very often you know think of any experience you've had where you were new at it sometimes you just don't even know the questions to ask yet um and so having somebody just go into a room on their own and just kind of find their way is not a very very uh effective way of you know providing that support and that education for somebody so we talk about you guys, you know, you and your preceptor moving through the practicum together at every step, um, even when you get to the, the competency steps um, that you're still together with your preceptor. So so what does that mean? So in that, you know, those very early weeks that you'll be spending with your preceptor, again, you'll probably be doing a lot of observing um, where the preceptor is, is leading the consult from beginning to end. Um, again, some preceptors, you know, having that conversation do you want me to wait till after the consult to ask my questions or how do you feel about me asking questions at the moment um certainly you know have that conversation um but this is where the you know at this phase this is where the preceptor will be doing the whole consult from beginning to end um, there will come a time when, again, you'll start in, moving into that novice phase where there are little chunks of these consults that you'll be able to do. And so, again, having really open communication with your preceptor, you know, even prior to the consult, um, recognizing those things where you're going to be able to step in or you might, she might introduce you and say, okay, well, now um, I, I just always use my fictitious student, Alice. <laughs> so now Alice is going to teach you a little bit about this. Is it okay if Alice teaches you this part? You know, um, your preceptor will, will cue the family that you're on and you're doing this piece, but your, your preceptor is still going to be there and still, you know, continuing the consult from the end of your either education piece or skills, skills piece. 